Hey, this is Visor. So you guys may recall um, a few days ago on a Hackaday article, they were talking about how the uh, the HP uh, vacuum tube display for their media centers got pretty much reverse engineered. Uh, turns out the chip that was hiding on the back of it, I guess is an Atmega chip that's just labeled a little bit differently. But um, pretty much it's like a 12 pin breakout. You can literally just plug in four of the pins to the Arduino, two of them are for the data. Um, the others are ground and voltage, of course. It just takes five volts. And you can kind of see it links to the article, or it links to the uh, forum post for the library for the Arduino. And uh, if you go further in there, there's documentation talking about the breakout for uh, the back of this guy. Um, there's the 12 pins, um, front and back of the display. It's kind of sweet. Um, but yeah, I got that plugged in, and I threw in the sketch into a Arduino software down here. Let's see. Hello world. Here we go. I threw in a little e bit extra code to uh, blink the LED on the front, but pretty much uh, loads the library, um, includes the vacuum tube display library, um, the setup, the different pins. I added uh, the LED on the front and edited it a little bit so it blinks every second as well as prints the value every second so it's been running for a little while and as you can see here it's been running for 268 69 seconds and a little led blinking in the top right showing seconds um there's a lot more you can do with this obviously because uh there is a little thing on the front for infrared signal as well as the little photo resistor it can kind of tell how bright the room is I'm assuming that can be used, it's in the pinout, um, I'm not sure if it can be like interfaced with the lines as far as brightness of the display or whatnot, but uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, I kind of, it was a pain in the ass to try and solder every single wire to that since it's a custom little header, so I ended up breaking off all the plastic and just soldering wires on, but uh, yeah, uh, there's the two power and the two data and the one for the LED, and it seems to be working just fine. Um, I got an enclosure from the Reuseum, old school, um, I'm probably going to put that tube in and just sort of have a clock, I might build a radio, or a sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, replace my kind of crappy alarm clock, maybe, make, make my own, but, uh, yeah, and there you have it. And for uh, those of you that were wondering where I got mine, I actually got mine on eBay from a seller that was in Austin, Texas. Um, eight bucks free shipping. That's, uh, that's a pretty cool deal for just a, a vacuum tube display that works off of uh, four wires. Yeah, pretty stoked about that purchase. Um, for those of you looking for more detailed information, it's the HP 2454 digital entertainment display, and I believe H9150 VFD. So, yeah, hopefully you can find one if they're still up. Yeah, and the seller I got it from was uh, pretty fast with shipping. Came in a nice box, um, as well as with foam and whatnot. So, double layers of foam wrapped. I had to peel the plastic film off the front of the display. Now it's nice and shiny. And yeah, 